my name is Nemo and um, I'm going to start this series now to to build a, a whole new multiplayer survival game. So uh, my plan is to to make everything live to to actually do everything and and not like have a project planned at the side. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna make a whole new project and just go through all the steps um, when I'm making a game. Uh, I'm actually the the owner of the, a game called Korma on Steam. If you want, you can go check it out. It's free, uh, early access. But today I'm gonna start this series. Um, so yeah, if you want to have a multiplayer survival game uh, where you can harvest stuff, you can build craft and everything like that you can just follow all the steps I do and yeah I think uh, this is gonna be a nice time so as I said this is gonna be alive um, so I'm just gonna build and uh, I'm not gonna edit too much on the videos and I don't have a, um, a project that's done so um, I might make some mistakes. Uh, I might have to go back and change sometimes. Uh, but if you see something you, uh, you think I can do different or something, just leave a comment and uh, we can work on that in the uh, next videos. So uh, let's start with uh, the project setup. And I'm going to use a third person uh, project. So I'm going to name it to Nemo. So by game I'm gonna have the start content and everything like this yeah so create the project okay so here we are so um, when I'm starting a new project um, I do a couple of things in in start just to to make everything easier uh, as the way we go so first of all I make uh, a couple of folders, um, name it up so I, I can actually organize everything I'm working with. Uh, I'm gonna make some blueprints that we're gonna use later and stuff like that. So uh, we start with a uh, right clicking and a new folder. And I'm sorry, we're gonna have it in the content here. So here, uh, we make one called blueprint. So in the blueprint, we're gonna start uh, making some blueprints that we're actually gonna use. So um, first, we're gonna make uh, a play controller. So uh, when I make a new play controller, I call it PC underscore something. The name uh, usually the the name of the game I'm making. So we can take uh, Naval's Survival Game like that. We're not gonna open it yet. Uh, blueprint class and we're gonna make a game mode uh, GM underscore NSG um, we're gonna make a character and this is a bit different because I'm gonna make one master character um, so one master character so that we can make child blueprints of so we can make like a female character a male character maybe a child uh, uh, yeah, everything we want, if we want zombies or different, like five, six different characters with all different abilities, we can make them of this one. So I'm going to call this master underscore character. Like this. Uh, another blueprint class, we're going to make uh, an actor component. Uh, we're going to have a component uh, that holds like all the variables, uh, the health, the, the movement speed and everything like that. So this one this component can be added to all the characters and other stuff too um yeah so we'll make a component and i call this the player uh, component like this uh, a blueprint class we're gonna make uh, press here and type in instance scroll down to a game instance now we select it make a game instance underscore NSG um, yeah I think that's it for the blueprint folder we, we, we will come back to this later and I will explain everything what they do if you don't know it um, let's save it go back to the content folder 
Uh, make a new one called uh, the HUD. I'm gonna open that one up. Uh, right click, use interface, widget blueprint. And we're gonna make a widget blueprint underscore main menu. Make another one called, I'm um, gonna call it uh, the player HUD. And that's fine for now. So, we have the blueprints, we have the, the HUD. So, I think we can start that. No, one more folder, a new folder called Maps. Yeah, and, and now we have a couple of things we have to, have to do in start. So we go up to Edit, we go to Project Settings. We go, go to Maps and Modes. Down here, you see the Game Instance, Game Instance class. We're gonna change change this to our own. We just made, yeah. And same goes for here. We're gonna change our game mode to default. And in this game mode, we can actually choose uh, choose our master character. We can choose our play controller, like this. Later on, we're gonna make our own game state class too, actually. But for now, we can use the the base. So. I think that's everything here, yeah. Okay, so, uh, let's start making some basic stuff for the project. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna open up maps folder here. Press Control plus N to make up this new level. I think you can actually do something like, yeah, here. Yeah, new level up here. Uh, but Control N. I'm gonna make an empty level for the main menu, like this one. Um, I'm gonna save this into maps, call it main menu underscore, not main menu map, can we call it? Yeah, main menu map. Then we're gonna make another one, a default. I'm gonna save this as a lobby map. No. Yeah, we could make a lobby map, but no, we just make this two. We say game map underscore oh one, the first game map. Yeah, like that. Um, now we have two maps. We can, uh, yeah, makes we start at the main menu map. Then we press the play play game key. We can jump into the game map. Great. Okay, so. First of all, uh, we have to set up our master character with some movements and stuff. Uh, because now it's empty, uh, there's no mesh or everything, so it's just empty. Um, a good thing now is that the blueprint from the third person character here is set up with some stuff we can use. So uh, we're gonna use this here, the movement input, and the mouse and the jump. Rest, uh, we're not gonna use, actually. So, just take Control C in here and paste it. Like this. Compile it. Go back to viewport, press the mesh, choose the mannequin, and take the third person and the blueprint. Like this. Now we have a character. You see it's a bit um, higher. And the arrow here is the point where the character should go. So we have to drag it down so it fits into this capsule here. Maybe one up. No, I think it's gonna be there, yeah. And we have to rotate it 90 degrees like this. Compile, let's see. And if we try here now to change this, Save and play. You see we are inside our character because we have no camera on it. So we go back to our uh, master character. We take a uh, spring arm like this. 
and uh, attach it to the mesh. Then we search, oh sorry, camera, a camera and attach it to the spring arm. Compile and save. And if we start to play now, you see we are at the camera. So here is like totally up to you where do you want the camera? Oh sorry. Um, sorry for that, guys. So I'm, I'm gonna take it a bit up and maybe tilt it like 20 degrees down, maybe more up. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, and as you notice now, you can't move the mouse up and down, you can only uh, move it, move it uh, horizontal. And we can actually press in the camera here. And we can press on a button called here, use pawn control rotation. If you compile now, you see I can move it around. But if you see this, you actually move the camera. So that's not perfect. So if I uncheck that again, there's another one here. Use control, use pawn control rotation in the spring arm. We're going to use that instead because now you use it from the spring arm so you can look around your character much better. Okay, great. So far, so good. Um, we're going to go back to our blueprints. The master character movements now is set up. We're going to use the this one um, for now. Later on we're going to add our own key mapping system so we're going to change out all of these events here. But for now that's good. Um, next part. Yeah, the next part is going to our master character. Here we will actually add our player component. So we have it here. So one thing we want to do um, is open our player component like this. Uh, we want to add a new variable here and call this master character. And we do this because we want a reference to our master character. So we search for master character, object reference, compile and save. Okay, so now we go back to our master character in here and at the event begin play, we drag out this holding control from here, set master character like this, drag out from here and type in self like this. So when the character starts and the event begin play, gonna shoot, and we're gonna set the variable in here to this to this character. So we can actually have uh, the master character variables in here and, and work with it. Um, we're gonna add this variable here into our non sorry into a non edit category. So we can just close that one uh, when we have more variables so we don't have to see it and like have those up all the time. Okay, so I think the first part is done now. The project is set up. Uh, we have the blueprints that we want to work with and we have uh, the folders we want to work with. We're gonna remove some folders later and stuff like that. But we, ha we have the basics up. So. I'm going to wrap this video here and see you in the next one. Bye guys.